guys and welcome back to my channel so excuse the background i'm literally sat on my landing right now with a huge pile of things next to me that i'm going to show you in a minute and i could have moved all this stuff into a different filming location but it would have taken so long because some of the stuff is really big so i'm just sitting here and i'm going to show you the stuff that i've bought for my new uni room and um, basically my room last year was really neutrally colored um i had my own color scheme of gray yellow and navy blue and I really liked it. Um, you might have seen my room tour, you will have seen my room there. But this year I have a bright hot pink wall to work with. The entire wall behind my bed is hot pink, like I'll insert a picture here if I remember. And I concluded that yellow and navy blue just really clashed with this wall. So I decided to take it upon myself to spend all my hard earned money on new things for my room. I've got a new colour scheme going on, you'll see that emerge as I show you the stuff. And then after the haul, I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update and some exciting news as well because a lot has happened since I last spoke to you, I feel. And I thought I'd let you guys know what's been going on and what's happening in my life. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get on with the haul. Now, I'm going to start with the big thing that's right next to me. This is a rug. Um, last year, my room had carpet. This year, my room's got wooden floor and it's a lot bigger. So there is space for a rug. This is so fluffy. Came from Donnell Mill and it was actually damaged. So there was like glue stuck in it and it was like black glue, but we just cut out the glue because there wasn't actually that much of it. And we literally got it for half price because it was damaged. So this massive rug cost me 14 99 as can be seen here. And I'm generally just really excited to have a rug. You know, you're really becoming an adult when you're getting excited about things like rugs, but this is really soft and it's going to be so nice on a wooden floor. So. That was the first thing I got, nearly chucked it at the camera. Then the next big thing is this. Now, it's really hard to show you. Um, this is a bean bag. Uh, just because I had a lot of space in my room, I decided, you know what, let's get a bean bag because it's something I always kind of wanted. And I found this one for super cheap on eBay. It's just like got a little handle. If you sit in it, it's really cozy. And it's not quite the color I wanted, but it was like 20 pounds, which is actually really good for a bean bag. So like, I'm gonna let the colour thing slide because it's pretty cool and it's huge. So that's that. Now the final big thing that's gonna be really hard to show you, you're just gonna get a reflection of my awful camera setup, is a mirror. I don't know how much of the mirror you can see. You can probably just see my awful camera, but this came from B&M. It was literally a tenner, biggest bargain of the lot, I think. Um, it's an overdoor mirror, so it has hooks and I have a wardrobe door that I'll be able to hang it over perfectly. Never had a full length mirror in my life. Like this bedroom that I have at home doesn't have a full length mirror. My last year's uni one also didn't have a full length mirror. So some amazing selfies are gonna come out of this. And yeah, I'm gonna get this out of the way now because it's really hard to show you guys. Now onto the more reasonable size things. The first thing I got is this gray bedding from Aldi. It was literally a tenner. It comes with pillowcases and the bedding and it's in a little drawstring bag that's the same color. Um, it's brushed cotton. I think it's going to look really nice. I decided to go for a plain colour bedding because there is a lot going on in my room. Like last year I had a pattern bedding because my room was pretty plain. But obviously the bright pink wall, I just thought keep everything else kind of solid colour. Um, so yeah, not much else to say about this. I hope it's really cosy. My bedding last year was from Aldi as well, so this should be fine. And to go with that, I got a kind of off-white fitted sheet just to go underneath. Um, this is literally the most boring thing in the whole haul, but it came from Donnell. It was £12. Yeah. Then to decorate my bed, I got two of these cushions. These are actually the exact same cushions that I had on my bed last year, but last year I had them in yellow. Um, I'm gonna keep the yellow cushions that I had last year. They're gonna go in the living room because some of my bedroom stuff from last year we're gonna use to decorate the living room. And this cushion is my newly colored alternative. I already know I love these cushions and this color is just amazing. This and the hot pink go really well together. I've got a hot pink cushion coming in a minute that I'll show you. I just think it's such a cool color combination and this is really soft. Then to go with that, I found this hot pink cushion and this is actually so perfect. I did not think when I went into Donnell that I'd find something exactly what I wanted, but this is literally it. It matches my wall. It's got these cute little pom-poms down each side, but besides that, it's fairly subtle. It was 12 pounds, which is kind of expensive for a cushion, but I fell in love with it. So this is the next thing that I'm gonna use to decorate my bed. And to match the teal colored cushions, I have a massive fluffy, teal throw this cost 18 pounds it's huge it's gonna cover my whole bed and it's just gonna bring it all together like i'm just really envisioning these colors and i'm so excited to decorate my room i think i'm gonna get to go back to leeds and decorate it in about a week so 
so excited this is gonna look so cute and be really cozy then i also got these two wall canvases from Danelm. they have like tropical leaves on them um i've got a little bit of a tropical leaf vibe going on in my room as well so i'm gonna have the kind of teal and pink and then also tropical leaves got another canvas on order but i accidentally ordered that to my old halls in leeds so that's currently in leeds um, but these two are gonna look super cool. I'm gonna kind of use them to tone down the bright pink wall a bit because I'm gonna put these on the pink wall to kind of detract attention from the completely pink wall. And yeah, these were fairly plain and simple. They were like seven pounds each, but they're quite big and they're already framed, so well worth it. And I also got myself this like fake plant from B&M. Um, it's got pink flowers, matches the pink in my room, so I just thought this was cute. I want quite a bit of greenery in my room because as I said, I'm gonna have, as well as the teal and pink, I'm gonna have like tropical leaves on the wall. So the green of any plants that I get will match that. So I'm gonna get quite a few. This is the first of my collection. I can probably use some that I had in my room last year as well. So yeah, I just thought this will really go with the vibe of the pink wall <laughs> and i got myself this reed diffuser i literally love the reed diffusers from next and i just really like my room smelling nice this is my favorite scent it's a bit obscure it's bergamot and green tea can't really explain how it smells it's just like a fresh scent um if you ever go to next go and smell their reed diffusers because they're literally amazing and they last so long like always longer than they say so this one says it'll last up to nine weeks but it's usually like 12 so these are great then i also got myself a load of new command strips you may be wondering like this isn't an entire bedroom's worth of stuff because some of the stuff i got in first year i can obviously still reuse like my laundry basket fairy lights um shoe rack like there is stuff already in my room and this is just extra kind of for decoration but obviously command hooks and strips aren't reusable so i need a new fresh set of these for the upcoming year these clips especially are so useful for hanging up fairy lights they're what i used last year and i'm going to kind of do the same decoration with my fairy lights next to my bed that i did last year in my new room so these and then slightly unrelated it's not really homeware it's stationary but i bought jack edwards's academic planner and i'm so fussy about like diaries or planners i don't think i've ever bought one because I always, I know what I'm looking for, like I need different sections for to-do lists and stuff like that. Not just an empty block for each day, um, I need it to be a bit more kind of put together than that. Uh, when I saw Jack made his own planner, I was like, oh my god, maybe this will actually be the thing that I need. Because obviously he's a student, he's designed it for students. And it is so amazing inside, like I can't even praise his design skills enough. Because this is so good and I'm going to get so much use out of it and actually get my life together so yeah that is actually the end of this mini haul i did say that i didn't have much to show you like most of my stuff i've already bought and it's already in leeds the only other thing i have on order is some custom made bunting it's going to be teal and gray and i'm going to put it up over the top of the pink wall again to try and kind of tone down the pink and bring the other colors from my color scheme into it so i think that's going to look really cute and yeah besides that i already own all the broom stuff from last year and like everything from my bathroom and kitchen so that's it for the haul and then i just have a few things to kind of update you on so the first thing is some really exciting news this coming weekend i'm going to be at summer in the city at the xl in london i'm actually only going to be there for the saturday but the saturday well the saturday and the sunday are the main days but me and my friend picked the saturday to go so if you see me like definitely say hi i don't know if any of you are going to be going but if you do it will make my day if you come and say hi to me if you see me walking around so that's my first bit of news and then on to my life update i have just a few things to tell you these are kind of reasons why i've been less active lately and just other things that i wanted to let you know so the first thing is that me and my boyfriend split up i love how i sound so cheery when i'm saying this um it happened like a week ago i'm not cheery about it but obviously i'm trying to just keep my head up um so that happened there will be no mention of him anymore and don't really plan on getting into any relationships anytime soon um yeah that's that really then also i am working two jobs this summer i'm kind of just getting into the swing of it even though we're already like halfway through summer but i'm working a weekend and like one shift in the week job at b and q and then i'm also freelance video editing for music artists it's a it's a bit of a long process but if you've ever seen the lyric videos that like artists sometimes put on youtube say if they haven't made an official music video they'll put up an official lyric video when they release the single well i'm editing those for like smaller artists for a bit of extra money because i'm a student and i'm pretty broke so that's what i'm doing um that leaves very little time to edit videos for my own channel because 
the freelance video editing is just taking up so much of my time. I feel like I'm working non-stop. Then to add to all my commitments, I now have the date for my reset and it is the 14th of August, which is actually, it's a week on Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. So it's basically just, it's like eight days away. Um, I only started revising yesterday and can't say that it's going well, but all I need is to pass. I literally need 40. Um, and I got 29 last time without doing that much. So I'm just hoping that I can get enough revision in. If you want me to make a video on my recent experience, then let me know if that'd be something you're interested in. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging somewhere in the city. I don't think I told you that. So that'll be the next video up on my channel. But then if you want anything recent related, because I think that's a bit obscure, not many YouTubers that vlog their uni experience actually end up failing an exam and having to reset. So I'm in a bit of a special situation here. So if you want any content from me regarding that, then just let me know. And I think that's all I have to tell you. Yeah, life's been a bit of a whirlwind at the minute. Everything's going on. I feel busy, 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 like just no time for YouTube, but I'm trying really hard. So this video is a bit put together. Like I just thought I'd show you what I've been buying because a few people have asked me. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully content will be getting more exciting. As I said, let me know down below if you want to see that recent video or anything else. And until next time, bye.